Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about wireless charges because I've been thinking about these devices for a while and for most of the last uh, 18 months uh, since I've been home I've been using this. The uh, Samsung 10,000 uh, milliampere charging battery, uh, charging brick. It's only, uh, it's very, very it's, it was uh, pretty expensive when it first came out, like $70, but now it's dropped to like half the price. So I got two of these and I've been using these for months and months and months. Uh, I, I, and I do know that there is a faster version of it. This one charges uh, at 7.5 watts, I think. I read somewhere, 7.5 watts. So I thought I could just have two of these and charge my phone. Uh, my watch, my battery, I mean my, my earbuds, um, and that would be all I needed. So I carried these around with me everywhere, including to the office or to um, different bedrooms, uh, to the living room, dining room, all over the place, and I just put my phone down there and it would charge, but it would charge really slowly after a while, which is fine. I mean, if you're at home, you know, you can afford to have things charge a little slowly because you have multiple devices and stuff like that, but I wanted something um, a little bit more flexible, so instead of getting the other, the, there's a bigger version of this, like, uh, not bigger, but it, is, it has the same milliamp watt hour battery, but then it charges uh, a little bit faster at, I think, 10 watts, yep, but I decided to get this, uh, the Samsung uh, Trio, the wireless charger Trio, and I also decided to get this, which is a no-brand <laughs> Uh, wireless charger from China, and uh, actually it has a brand, R R D Co. But I I don't know if your region has it or not. Depends on where you live uh, in the world. But here in uh, Singapore, in Southeast Asia, uh, yeah, it's selling for only thirty Singapore dollars or twenty USD, twenty twenty two. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty pretty helpful, I think. And this is cost for me one third the price of this. And actually, it charges exactly the same. There are no differences. No differences whatsoever in the charging speed. Because as long as you put a fast charger on it, I think it's a, is it 15 or 30 watts. It could be 30 watts. Yeah, 30 watts, I think. It'll charge all three of your devices, your, your phone, your watch, and your earbuds perfectly well. And when they first came, they came in these two boxes. And I was wondering how it looked like inside. So uh, I got this one first. And it's very simple actually. It just came with it just came with this thing in here. And it came with a micro uh, not micro, it came with a USB C cord and that was it. It, it didn't come with any uh, charging brick, so maybe that's why the price was so low. Whereas the Samsung charger, I got it from Amazon USA and it took about uh, less than two weeks to arrive, about, I don't know, ten days to arrive, but yeah, it came with the charger and everything in the box. Um, this will probably be the second and last time I opened the box because it was very simple. It was just like laying flat in here um, and I took it out. There was a charger and there was a USB-C cable and that was it, a fast charger. So yeah, that was great. Um, uh, now that I've shown you this, I can probably recycle them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these these two things are really useful for me because the key issue I had with this is that I always needed to p push this little tiny button here, and it was extremely annoying um, having to hunt for it all the time. Like I know where it is now because I'm so used to it, but like having to hunt for it and uh, having to put my phone on it, and sometimes I didn't because the button is kind of flush with the with the battery. It's a bit hard to you know to know when when I charge it and then after I put it on I would have to like wait for the charging mark to come out to make sure that oh this thing really was charging so uh, especially with regards to the watch and the, and the earbuds you really need to put them right in the middle of this of this thing of this coil here and it isn't magnetic so it, because it isn't magnetic you you really need to look for it look for the charging mark and sometimes I put my stuff on here and it didn't charge because I wasn't very careful of the placement. So just one thing to note. The the thing the reason why I stated this, the other reason why I stated this is that this thing can turn into a charging brick. Um, yeah, I mean a wireless charger, so if you plug it in like so, if, okay, let me just bring it around here. Now if, if you 
if you plug this in to the um, cord here, like this, and uh, if you just put your phone on it, you know, any which way, it's easy to charge phones because phones are big, right? Yeah. Then it will automatically uh, wireless charge and it acts just like this device right here. There is absolutely no difference. And when you remove it, it will become a battery. And when you put it, when you, when you plug it back into the into the outlet, it will become um, a charging pad. So that's a really good point about this. I think it's still great. I want to keep it, but the charging times are half the speed of this and this. So these are actually this. The, the box is nine watt charger, but a Samsung store um, person told me that this device is actually 15 watts. Yes, it's 15 watts. Um, they just don't advertise it as, as so. So I don't know. Maybe if you if you if you put all three, like two phones, and a watch on it, maybe it'll be nine watts. But uh, if you just put two phones on it, I think it'll be 15 watts because it charges uh, exactly the same. This one is a little bit slow, but that it is also a battery. So that's a great. Uh, that's a difference here. Um, okay. So back to the uh, no brand name um, charger. So when you this one is actually pretty nifty, so it obviously stands the phone up. So I like the fact that over here you have a raised platform. And so when you, maybe I should bring it around. So because there is a raised platform, uh, when you charge it, it, it actually looks really good. Uh, it actually can be your watch as well. Just give me a moment while I set this thing down and place this charge your back in here yeah, and it lights up like so obviously a white cord is uh, preferred I only have the red one here because the red is ultra long um, and when you want to uh, save space you can tuck the the watch uh, chargers thing outside this charges at about 4.5 watts and this charges at 3 watts and this is like 15 watts for the phone so you, you gotta get the right um, charging brick the yeah, and then yeah, when you need to charge your watch, you can just take this out here, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So then you would uh, you would just uh, put your watch here, and it would it will charge like that. So um, and of course the earbuds, take your earbuds out, and you can tuck it in right behind, and the thing the whole trio will charge like this. So it's pretty handy. If you like your things standing up like I do, you know, and you and you can see all these um, uh, on display, on screen displays, showing you the time and date at all times. So that is a plus for me. But at the same time, it's going to be hard traveling with this. If you're going, um, you know, doing a staycation or going to a different hotel, you don't want to have to bring this because it isn't very portable. You want this to, you want to bring this to different rooms in your home, but you don't want to be carrying this around with you because this is not collapsible. It's just like the Samsung, the official Samsung 15 watt charger, except that it is a, it is a three in one three in one function. So for this reason, I got a second one, and I'm keeping both. So this one is ultra portable. It is super slim. It is it is super thin, and yeah, you can definitely you know just take it out and you can slip it in your backpack and you can bring it with you, and you only need one charger. To charge all three devices and that's why I think uh, this one is a winner for me I'm definitely keeping both of them uh, because both of them have good have good points so to charge your stuff all you got to do all you got to do over here is to take this uh, use USB-C of course and uh, you know plug it in plug it in right here there's going to be LEDs that flash and then, uh, you know, you would put your phones here and here, and you could also put your earbuds here. And it says, yeah, fast wireless charging. Um, because of these things, my my battery is almost always full out, all the time. When I go to the office, I have another wireless charger. Um, I mean, an old one that I don't use anymore. I just brought it to the office and I left it there. Um, the middle part is also for the earbuds, so obviously you don't need to have two phones, oh, sorry, the middle part is for the earbuds. The, this part is magnetic, so I like this a lot. Because it's magnetic, you can just set it down, and it will sort of, your watch will adhere 
to um, to the uh, to the wireless charging pad. So um, all in all, these are these are really good devices, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty glad I got them. They they made charging so effortless for me because uh, in the past I would always have to bring these around and I would have to search for this little button and uh, charge them really slowly. Uh, but I'm still keeping these. I still th think these are useful. Um, but of course, you know, for convenience sake, if you're an Android user, uh, obviously, if you're you know using the iPhone, you might want to consider. I mean, there are so many third-party solutions like like the built-in chargers for iPhones, but not that many for the uh, Samsungs or the other Android phones, except of course the Samsung flat chargers, uh, wireless chargers. So uh, just something something to think about if if you're you know looking to buy. Uh, these things that will make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more, you know, convenient. Um, well, let me know if you have any questions about these. I'll leave links in the description. And uh, yeah, I welcome your thoughts and comments and, and, and hope I can answer any questions you may have. Oh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you, you know, if this video helped you, please like this video as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.